15 foot tall and naked. Alison Lapper hasn't exactly been one to shy away. And even a decade on, the sculpture of her that once stood in Trafalgar Square remains seminal. Perhaps the first positive public representation of disability in art that got people talking then and still does now. It was called Volga Trafalgar and I was like, hey, that's me and I'm pregnant and I'm very proud actually of this. Um, but the, the way that people swung around and, and the attitudes changed and it got people talking about disability, single parenthood, sexuality. Born with the congenital disorder Focamelia, Alison is without arms and has shortened legs and so she paints with her mouth. These canvases may sell for thousands, but she feels attitudes are changing again, and worryingly so. The positive press after the Paralympics was amazing. So we were, every disabled person was almost like a hero. And since this government have been in, it's switched and we're all scroungers and it's done us no good. Alongside fellow disabled artists, a new exhibition hopes to change that perception. It's a theme Alison also explored when posing as that supposed ultimate body beautiful, the Venus de Milo. Challenging stereotypes comes as second nature to her. There is this brick wall that disabled artists are trying still to push through. Anything you know, that we put our minds to, we can do and on a par with everybody else. Probably better because we know we've got something to prove. Being judged just like regular bodied artists is now the goal and that would be the ultimate sign of success for her life's work. Richard Palo, ITV News, North London.